is Cuban fiber under extreme heat, and we're going to compare that to CPM 505. Try that again. <laughs> I'll take this corner. So definitely shrinks in. And we're going to check out the CPM 505. Not so much. So CPM definitely holds up to the heat a bit better. But it's also twice the weight and thickness it seems so shape some CPM 505 with some heat and uh, how we're gonna do it is we've got this uh, table set up to basically suck down the CPM as we heat it and we have a bit of a profile here with a bit of camber and stuff so uh, we're gonna lay the CPM over it and we're gonna see how it forms with heat and uh, see how it turns us uh, this mold off now, and we're gonna check out the shape of the CPM. So it looks like it shaped pretty good. Definitely shaped around the... You see the curvature there? That's pretty cool. So you definitely can shape CPM. We'll flip it the other way, see if it'll shape that way too so all right so there you have it cpm holds its shape if when heated you could shape it to use the uh, cuban fiber on there so we're gonna heat that up it's not gonna take too much heat because it does shrink pretty quick so we'll see how this forms here cuban fiber after being heat treated we're gonna see how how it is. So let's see here. So it looks like there's a bit of shape to it there. Okay, so it, it does shape pretty well. When comparing it here, uh, just one second, I'll just get the... Alright, so just comparing the CPM 505 shaped with the Cuban. So it looks like uh, Cuban definitely shapes, and the 505 shapes as well, but it uh, looks like it kind of holds a little bit better. Now I know with the wind it, in it, who knows, we'll have to see how it flexes I guess. Something to point out here with the uh, Cuban fiber and the way it shrinks is um, that it's the mylar that's shrinking in both ways there and not the specter. So I think for shaping sails with heat with Cuban fiber, it may not be, may not be ideal. Whereas when you're using CPM to shape, I mean, it holds its foil pretty good. Lots of nice camber there. And stiff, so it's not, uh, the, the mylar on it's holding pretty good. All right, so we're putting on a piece of 25 pounds? 20 pounds. 20 pound dead weight on, and that's the CPM 505. It's gonna hang it there, so it's gonna hold pretty good. Let's see if it's stretching out. There you go. We can, we can uh, see what it's doing under load. Right, so, so it's stretched one. It stretched six millimeters. Six mil. Wow. Okay. All right, so we've uh, taken it off here, and what's interesting is that uh, it's actually rebounded the CPM 505, and we measured from this point to here, which was 650 mil, but after load and uh, bounce back, it came back within about two mil, a little bit longer by two mil, so uh, it does 
stretch out quite a bit, but then it rebounds back within uh, with about two mil additional length. So interesting. I don't know. All right, so this is the Cuban fiber under the same load. Yeah, we're just gonna do a quick measurement here. And the Cuban, no stretch. No stretch. It's right on 650, so uh, under load, same load, it does not stretch.